guys, this is the Grand Power Strybog. It's a cool little 9mm, kind of like my Sega MPX. And we're out here in Berthig, Colorado. And we're about to have some fun. We were just here plinking a little bit. And I already tried this Grand Power Strybog out. And it's a lot of fun. So stay tuned for a lot of cool shooting footage. What do you think of the mags, honey? Pretty easy to load, just like it's, an AR. AR or an MPX. You or just an MPX. it's it's the uh, it's a double stack, double feed, so you can just push them straight in, just like an AR or an AK or an MPX. Yeah. Yep. Is it getting tight for you though? Yeah, it's getting a little tight. You know, this is like seventy-five bucks worth of nine millimeter, right here. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It used to be like twelve dollars worth of nine millimeter a couple months ago. I haven't been counting. How many is in here? I don't know. I like how you can see through the mags. Yeah. That's so you pretty can cool. count how many is in there. Yeah. So what do we got here? I've got 33 in it. What? Yeah. I've got 33 in this mag. Cool. cool. You ready to shoot this? Oh yeah. Alright. Nice. Which plate were you aiming at? The bottom right one with four hits that you can see. Cool. And then one right on the edge. Cool. All right, so that was your first six shots out of the Grand Power Strybog. What do you think? Five. Five shots? Yeah. What do you think? Um, I mean, my shoulder kind of hurts. Oh, does it kick more than your MPX? A little bit. Okay. But other than that, I love it. Yeah, I like how lightweight it is, too. Yeah. All right, let's load up uh, some more. <laughs> you knocked down all the knockdowns. <laughs> Look here. <laughs> you did pretty good with that. Yeah. All right. So I like that bolt because if you're left-handed, from yeah. the right or the left. Exactly, it's ambidextrous. Yep. Can you go ahead and once you shoulder it, pull that back and let it fly? It's too hard. Too hard? Okay, yeah, I'll get it. A little bit. Okay. All right, let's do those knockdowns on the top first. That's it. Empty. So the bullets are passing right through these because I saw a couple hits before it actually fell. Uh oh. And then that, that second one that's up there on the left, Yeah. it has a bullet hole in it. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Cool. All right. <laughs> Those take a couple hits to knock down. Can you feel it lock open? A little bit. Yeah? Yeah. Is Oops. it turned on? Yep, you're rolling. Go ahead. Whoa! So this is what happens when you shoot a soda can with 9mm. Empty? Yeah, one didn't get hit. Yeah, well that's because you shot the one that was wounded. You ran out of ammo. Yeah. Good. Empty. 
Awesome! In the head! Yeah. Alright, well now the guy with the big knife is coming for you. Let's shoot him. Ah! <laughs> Definitely broke his hand. Shot his hand a couple times. Good. Oh, got that guy right in the forehead. <laughs> Look at that. Let's show him. Go ahead. Right in the forehead. And you also took out his weapon hand, too. <laughs> like five times in the hand. So we got a little malfunction here. Looks like it didn't quite pick up the round as good as it should have. So what do you think about the Strybog so far, honey? Really love it. Good, yeah. We only had time to put about 150 rounds through it today. Yeah. But um, thanks to Robert and his family for letting us borrow this gun and uh, use the land to film this with. Um, the Strybog, it, it's really comparable with the MPX, I think, but it does have a bit more recoil, right? Yeah. Than the MPX. My shoulder hurts from shooting this thing. Yeah, this does. This doesn't have a gas system like the MPX does. It's just a straight blowback, like a like a CZ Scorpion kind of system. He does have the uh, the Hollow Sun HS407C solar powered optic on it, and I think it's just the best looking optic he could have chose for this gun. Looks really good. The mags, how many rounds do the mags hold? Well, they're supposed to hold 30, but my dad got 33 in it. Exactly, yeah, I was able to get 33 in them. So, I don't know if that's uh, supposed to be like that. This has a reciprocating charging handle up front here, and she was not able to, uh, to use that charging handle. It was a bit too stiff for her. Yeah. So, and that comes with the that comes with the blowback action that this gun has. It has to have a really strong recoil spring and a really heavy bolt. Definitely. Yeah, whereas if you have a locked breech like the MPX, the whole mechanism can be lighter and easier to use. Definitely. Yeah. Well, I think I think this was a, a really fun gun to shoot for you, right? Definitely. Yeah. Would you want to shoot this guy again if you had a chance to again? Yeah. Cool. This is the Grand Power Strybog. Made in Slovakia. 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 Yeah, made in Slovakia. This I don't is... even know where that is. Yeah. Awesome, honey. Well, do you want to say bye to everybody? Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching all the time. We'll see you next time.